Every day is a brand new odyssey with the staff here at Real Scene TV. Let's see where the Terry Lee Odyssey takes us this time. Circle City Classic has been a staple here in Indianapolis for more than 25 years. In today's Terry Lee Odyssey, we take a look at some of this year's activities. Well, the tradition of Circle City Classic began as two football teams from HBCUs battling it out on the gridiron, but it has become so much more here in Indianapolis. <laughs> Indianapolis Mayor Greg Ballard, talk to me a little, I see you at events like this all the time. Talk to me about the support that you're trying to show to Indianapolis and the community. Well, we have so many great events in the city and the Circle City Classes have been one for a long, long time. Plus this has so much meaning within uh, within our city. The parade today, they had the cabaret last night. There's so many events surrounding it. It's really kind of morphed into something just more than just a football game. It's really a cultural event in the city. Main thing, I don't want to interrupt. We're about to go to the Battle of the Bands. The importance of this with HBCUs and just period for people who've never been to a historically black college and actually seen this actual event. Oh man, it is awesome. Um, the Battle of the Bands to me is like, I mean, I like the game, but the Battle of the Bands is just awesome. The talent you see, how they come, how you know, all the practicing, all the hard work they put into it, and just to see it all unveiled here, that is absolutely awesome. It's something to see. Uh, what were the, some of the main things that made that band stand out from the other one for why you chose them to win? One thing that made them stand out was that the music was a lot clearer. It was well defined. They played it with a lot more precision. Uh, the band that won, uh, the marching wasn't as good, but the fact that their music was so much better. You are the mayor of Indianapolis, so you got to get tough questions. Okay. It's your tough question. <laughs> Who are you rooting for? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, you know, I, the Kentucky State guys were really nice to me uh, uh, the last couple of days. So you know, it's kind of kind of nice, but it's not going their way right now. So, but I'm just I'm just glad that both teams are out here, and they I, I want both teams to walk away with a good experience. I really do. Thank you so much, Eric Ballard, for taking the time to talk to Real Scene TV. 